What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022 date. It's about 10.30 a.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake shows a 3.2 out here around the Philippines area it looks like. Just south of there along the southwestern portion of the Philippine plate. Still seeing quite a bit of activity up in the Iceland area where we've seen uh, one of the volcanoes starting to act up this morning. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest info here from the Volcano Discovery website. Latest, up, uh, uh, latest update shows that uh, okay, a little eruption on the Rick James Peninsula out there. A uh, certain volcano that's been uh, pretty active, including the most recent eruption last year, is spewing up some lava once again. Uh, according to these folks here, the eruption continues at modest intensity although it is likely to gradually increase as a typical fissure eruption with lava fountains forming a curtain of fire along an approximately 100 meter long fissure that opened today around 1.36 p.m. local time there. So just a couple hours ago or so, uh, this thing started to kick up. A uh, sheet-like lava flow is slowly spreading on both sides of the fissure. There is some videos that you guys can check out and watch up on the YouTube channel from the uh, mbl.is website. There's a little image there of the fissure opening up and allowing some lava to come in. Some uh, small lava fountains. Again, this is about a 100 meter long fissure. It is in the same area that uh, kind of kicked up last year. Uh, the eruptive fissure is located within the lava flow field at the same eruption site as the last eruption back in 2021, as noted here. Uh, but the exact location is unknown for now and was not reported yet. However, it uh, looks like they're going to be sending out some aircraft or a helicopter to check it out. So that's the latest information on this. Um, you know, there was a pretty good amount of earthquake activity kicking up in this area. Um, along this plate boundary let me show you guys here of Iceland uh, and this area right here does see quite a bit of earthquake activity in general but it is right smack dab in this location where uh, we've seen last year's activity kick up so it was like I guess it was coming right earthquake swarms tend to either prelude um, some larger quakes or possibly volcanic activity in this case here we've seen a uh, uh, volcanic eruption not a not an explosive eruption by any means but still an eruption at that uh, with those fissures opening up here similar to what we've seen last year so uh, I'm sure the tourists will be in in uh, high well last year there was a whole bunch of people shooting up there on planes wanting to see that I would love to see the eruption up there but uh, eh, I don't know got uh, some plans here for now but uh, anyway if somebody does get up there it's pretty cool awesome view to check out for sure again uh, the uh, Rick Janes there's many different ways to pronounce this I don't know the correct pronunciation um, there's a, a couple different ones but uh, either way it's uh, on the uh, peninsula there with the volcano uh, known as um, do, 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 see where we went to right here this guy right here and i uh, just haven't got into the correct pronunciation of it yet so we'll just let you guys read that all right let's see what else we got here for some earthquake activity latest map up here shows uh, a couple fours in the iceland area let me double refresh this make sure we got everything 4.3 the latest quake around the iceland area and again these earthquake swarms can continue for quite a while uh, with the ongoing unrest of the volcano here let me see if i can pull up the iceland uh earthquake map stand by for just a second there's a couple different ones here grab this out here it's been a couple earthquakes here within the last 48 hours usgs only shown a couple of those uh but definitely uh pretty active for certain around this region over the last week or so we've seen uh, a little bit of activity on the USGS map but again there's way more than this there's definitely hundreds more 
uh, of smaller quakes. USGS just showing some of the bigger ones, including 5.0 from yesterday. Latest one of 4.3. So we'll watch it. Um, you know, it's any volcano has a, a potential for uh, some type of eruptive stage. But for now, just getting some uh, fissures opening up here in the in the ground and spewing out some lava fountains, which is probably pretty cool to look at at a distance. All right, guys, let's go on to earthquake activity, checking out the West Coast. Pretty active out here along the West Coast today. Uh, I've seen quite a bit of swarming kicking up. Uh, well, not swarming, but a large-scale microquake activity throughout the western portion of the states, up and down the, the region here. Uh, 2.5 doesn't show it, but there's definitely a lot of earthquake activity throughout the eastern portion of Sierra Nevada and also down along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, nothing really major, though, within the last hour as far as uh, any activity goes. Only one red circle here uh, down off the San Jacinto Fault Zone. But uh, pretty active. It looks pretty active here today on the map. Some movement up here along the, uh, well, the, towards the Mendocino Fault at the southern end of the Cascadia Megathrust. Seen a couple earthquakes, including a 3.5 from yesterday and uh, a 2.3 as well from last night. Up in Washington, somewhat quiet little microquake activity up there around Mount St. Helens and uh, some general movement here throughout the Utah area. Not a whole lot going on throughout the rest of the country. A couple earthquakes here, a couple earthquakes there in the Oklahoma region. But overall, seismic activity remains somewhat uh, uh, quiet along the eastern portion of the country. Puerto Rico area, about the same. 13 earthquakes or so. South America calming down. Uh, aside from the Atlantic or uh, way up here in the North Atlantic Ocean with the earthquake activity, the rest of the region looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, we did see some further movement upstream on the Kermadec Trench. Also some further deep activity down there into the Tonga Trench at uh, 521 kilometers for a 5.6 activity over here. Around the Philippines, as noted on the Earthquake 3D Globe, showing a little increase in movement. Uh, just looks like it's outside of the uh, Santiago Philippines region, 5.4. And further down south, got a 4.7 in the Indonesia area. So I uh, think we got a uh, little activity definitely uh, being able to kick up here. As far as the tension goes here, kind of uh, <clears throat> allowing this magma and these fissures to kind of open up in this area. Um, in that case, though, I, I still think we need to watch areas along the Atlantic uh, and the South Sandwich Islands area for some potential movement with the... Uh, activity we're seeing up north along that area of the plate boundary not a whole lot going on throughout the middle east or the mediterranean sea region uh, yellowstone national park not a whole lot of earthquake activity it looks like a little small microquake activity within the last 30 minutes or so um, aside from that things just kind of a typical day there at yellowstone solar weather activity is ramping up though we just seen a uh, what, pretty good sea flare kicking up let's see if it's done with the uh, chart yet let me see what this peaked out at yeah, it looks like it's up there a little bit uh, C the right C 6.9 up around there somewhere I'd say it's a little bit higher than C 6.9 well that, that's what they got though um, and I'm not for certain which sunspot this is coming off of. Let me uh, see if we can find this. Possibly it could be from one of these far sun side or uh, far sunspots over here. But a lot of times these flares will pop up and you'll be able to see them. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything really on the map here. So, uh, yeah, just kind of a, a little activity. We did see the global delayer absorption map really kick up here, but that has uh, kind of died off, it looks like. Either that or it's not working on this map. Some new sunspots de uh, developing over here around the southeastern limb. It's going to be this one right here, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's possible that Seafler may have uh, came from 3068. About the only potential that has a uh, a uh, significant looking uh, complex magnetic 
area. But uh, let's see what we got here. Probability details from these guys. 3068, that's about all they got here. So, either way, a little activity kicking up here, folks. Volcanoes come and go, right? That they do. Um, you know, always have, we almost always have volcanoes erupting around the globe at any given time. And uh, we we'll just add that one up in Iceland onto the map. Get, uh, keep the uh, volcanoes active, right? Here's a map of currently erupting volcanoes. Quite a bit. Kilauea continues to erupt. Not a whole lot of change there at that volcano. Let's see what we got for uh, seismographs here, or at least uh, earthquake data. Get a pretty good swarm of activity here. Look at that around Mauna Loa. That is a pretty awesome looking swarm. Got to watch this here pretty closely. Showing about uh, 69 earthquakes here within the last 24 hours. That's a pretty big deal at Mauna Loa. Let me see if we got any updates here from the hazard notification system in the uh, USGS network here. Let's check this out because that's a pretty big deal. Nothing showing up here yet. Um, from the HVO, uh, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. I'm not seeing anything, but with that type of setup, that's a pretty, that's a pretty big deal right there. That's a pretty good uh, amount of earthquake activity. Let me see what we got for a tally of earthquakes within the last 30 days here. Although most of this activity from, uh, obviously it looks like it's from tonight, 160, uh, actually 171 earthquakes at the Mauna Loa volcano there on the Big Island. Things might be getting ready to stir back up. Look at that. So just a heads up, folks. I'm sure we may see an update from the... Uh, USGS in regards to this activity today. Let me click back over here. HVO. Last update looks like it was back on the 28th of July. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they will put out an update for this here pretty soon. Everything still looks, uh, at least on the elevated side here, uh, for Mauna Loa Yellow Advisory. Let's see if we can check out their seismograph stations and uh, see what they uh, have popping up here. I know, of course, we've been seeing a pretty steady rate of uh, elevated GPS lift there. Vertical displacement at Mauna Loa for quite some time. There's the, uh, there's the earthquake activity. Kicking up pretty nicely there. See that? Pretty good. Looks like some larger ones in there as well. Let's see what we got for magnitudes. It looks like there was a 2.9 and 2.7. The rest of those quakes on the map below that threshold. But that, uh, that's a pretty good amount of earthquake activity there. Things definitely getting pretty active, it looks like, around Mauna Loa. And uh, I, expect, uh, I definitely expect an update here to be put out. Um, Uh, for the uh, volcano a webcam view doesn't look like anything spectacular going on there and of course you can check out uh, GPS um, info and whatnot um, don't, I don't really like using this GPS station but uh, what do we got here 10 years Uh, see, there's that steady vertical um, uplift of the volcano there on the Big Island. It's got some periods of, uh, looks like last year maybe tried to tone down a little bit. But uh, man, over, seems like since about August or so, things really, really been uh, elevated there in terms of the vertical displacement. This is uptrend, and uh, that would make sense of... Uh, volcano getting active so we'll keep an eye on it Mauna Loa um, once they do put out an update I'll post that up onto my social media pages and 
uh, we'll go from there. Uh, tilt meters here showing some uh, some pretty dynamic increase here around early July. It looks like middle of July. Noticing this trend right here. So we'll uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it, folks. I'm going to bounce off here and. Uh, take care of the plans for the day and we will be back a little bit later on unless something major changes here not for sure how I got so many earthquakes on the globe that's right I'm checking the uh, Iceland quakes but uh, definitely um, keep an eye on the big island with that type of activity I am going to drop the magnitudes a little bit down to about eh, 1.8 or so on the globe that way we can kind of keep an eye on the swarms that are taking place here along the big island at Mauna Loa. And um, so you might, you guys might see a little bit more earthquake activity showing up here on the globe, but I think it's important to watch these swarms. Uh, not for certain if I have a seismograph station there, not on Mauna Loa. Uh, looks like a couple stations on the, on the uh, graph here are missing. Mount St. Helens, Petrolia, two of my favorite stations are not showing up right now. I will uh, attempt to bring them back up. Uh, sometimes they go down for maintenance, but uh, <clears throat> also I'll, I'll see if I can't include a local seismic uh, station around the Mauna Loa area so we can watch that earthquake activity. But uh, again, things can things can change in the blink of an eye at, at any volcano, folks. So just uh, take heed to uh, you know what the uh, the official folks are saying there with the USGS and um, of course we'll keep you guys updated here on this channel as well all right guys stay safe stay cool out there if you can it's supposed to be about 107 108 here in California again and uh, we'll do some fire coverage and whatnot they had quite a bit of rain up uh, along the McKinney fire in Northern California last night and yesterday uh, expecting that type of event again so I'm, I'm surprised the uh, fire's not completely out. Uh, we had some mudslides up there and uh, torrential rains. But well, we'll see how it is. All right, guys, we'll cover it a little bit later on. Stay safe out there. Have a good day.